was very curious about this technology. Um, I don't know if it's the future, but I think it's in the future. And also, I think, you know, the chance to work with a director like Bob Zemeckis, who's done so many of, you know, all our favorite films, really, um, for so many years. Also, Christmas Carol is such a fantastic story, so it ticked quite a lot of boxes, really. The simple answer is that basically they've, they've found a way for you and all the other actors to stand where you would really be standing in a room and act the whole thing out without any interruption and have that all end up on the screen. That's uh, kind of bizarre and unthinkable with cameras because with cameras you have to weave in and out of people, you have to stop and start and set things up and light it. And all that. There's no lighting, there's no interruption, there are no change of perspectives, you just do it. Um, so from that point of view, it's extraordinary, extraordinarily freeing. As far as the technology is concerned, um, instead of filming you, they basically scan you, record your face and body and make use of that. Um, and then they have sensors in the room which read your movements and turn it into what you see on the screen. It, it's, a, it's a hell of a ride. I mean, it's, it's like a roller coaster, really, and, and seeing the possibilities. I mean, it, it's not just the um, fact that you can make people fly and you can physically transform them. You can have somebody play a, a 50-year-old man or a child. Um, you can shrink them, enlarge them, give them a big nose or a small nose. Um, you, you, you start to wonder what, what the possibilities might be. You know, I might be able to play Romeo when I'm 90. You know. It's wonderful working with any brilliant actor. Um, and uh, uh, Jim, this is what was interesting, actually, because you don't quite know what's going to be on the screen, but you're working with a wonderful actor who's completely inhabiting his role, and you look into his eyes, and it's all there, you know, this, this bitter old man that he was channeling. Um, and uh, as I said, you, don't, you, don't, you know he's going to have a longer nose and a longer chin, but he's so screwed, you almost would have thought he, he didn't need any of it, really. He was... Um, he, he just inhabited it so perfectly. I do embrace it. I've got small children, and so the magic does come back, you know. Um, there are always things that jangle the nerves and the lead up to Christmas, I think, whether it's panic over Christmas shopping or, you know, um, certain relatives you might avoid uh, or, um, you know, jingles and uh, novelty Christmas songs. I definitely have this a lot. I'm a lot of Scrooge along the way. But uh, no, when it comes to seeing you know, what, it, what it does to the kids, you know, I, I, I think it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm.